Hey Exiles, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Storm Assault Saga of Survival. How are we going guys? I hope you are all well. Hope you guys are having a good run at your XP challenge today. Um, but, well, depending on when you guys are watching this video, it may already be been um, over and done with or not. Who knows, but I just thought I'd point that out. Hopefully you guys are having a good one. We are in the current XP challenge at the time of this video. And for us at the moment, we have the um, the started armor uh, rewards. So this is probably one of the lowest, or if not the lowest requirement to um, achieve your respected rewards. So depending on how far you guys want to push it as a clan, um, I think at the moment the, the whole, whole total is just over 2 million there. And we... Uh, pretty much already at the halfway mark. We're nearly pretty all, all the way nearly to epic, um, sorry, epic reward. So, you know what, we could probably achieve that if we, you know, if we just sort of pushed it. But what we've actually done is we decided to sort of take a mini break and not go too overly over the top with this one. And the reason for that is we had a massive XP challenge uh, just last week where we actually got legendary uh, rewards for the champion uh, set which was ridiculous my guys absolutely did phenomenally well so you guys are awesome um, and basically we, we decided to sit this one out and just recoup all of our lost um, resources that we invested in into that uh, event and what I'm doing at the moment actually before I start running as you can see I've just got everything all split up here and we're only just going to be focusing on stone and um, iron and that's all I want that's all that I need I've got so much clay right now at the moment it is not funny so I'm gonna um, yeah not get clay right now um, but I will be definitely hunting my way for through a lot more stone and iron just so we can start replenishing and um, continue to craft stone blocks so I think I've got roughly about 200 stone blocks a little bit over at the moment and I know I need about 480 or so before we can actually get um, a sufficient amount of XP. So basically what the guys have worked out is if we do the circle of power at least 23 times over. So what that means is building it, destroying it, building it and, and destroying it. And you guys get the idea. So if you do that roughly about 23 times over, you should just get over 100,000 XP points on your own. So if you sort of do the math and work that out by how many players that you've got in the clan, if everyone is very well committed in doing that, then, you know, a, a clan full of 30 to 40 people, well over 3, 4 million EXP right off the bat without even thinking about it. Even if you had, say, 40 people in the clan and you had at least 20 of them doing, you know, well over 100, that's over 2 mil. Yeah. All right. And if you have the rest of them doing, say, 50 EXP, well, that's, oh, sorry, 50,000 EXP, then you'd essentially get a bit over 3 mil. And in most cases, that's pretty much what you'll need for the majority of the um, uh, reward sets of armor. You know, the, the with the exceptions of possibly the, the champions and the rogue outfits, I think, uh, a little bit over. So, you know, the champions at 4 mil, I think that's the highest. And I think the rogue comes in at second, I think. Don't quote me on that. But you get some like the studded armor, which only requires a bit over two mil. So even with that, everyone can sort of operate at 50,000 and call it a day. Use half the resources if they don't need to um, go down that pathway. So just sort of putting that into perspective, once you sort of get a sufficient amount of people in your clan, even if you go all the way up to 50 um, spots in the clan, the requirements for each individual becomes less and less over time. It's just a little bit harder when you don't have um, the available resources to increase your um, uh, your clan, um, you know, spots availability. So, you know, for myself, I just had, I had to build up to about 40. So we're, we're there now and we, we managed to get all all people pretty much participating. I think there was maybe one or two people as an exception that weren't able to um, participate, which was a bit of a drag, but um, most people pretty much got minimum requirement at the very least. And yeah, we were able to essentially um, achieve our goal. Some, um, our top six, well over expectations. 
Our top two had over 400,000 each, of which was ridiculous, which is amazing. So you put that into perspective there, only two people committed themselves fully into it, into the cause. They'd be pretty much where we are right now, just by two people. So yeah, it, it just speaks volumes when you sort of, when you look at it that from that type of perspective. Anyway, I just wanted to sort of touch base with that and sort of have a chat to you guys about that, you know, where we're at with things. So I guess, you know, I want to sort of run this, you know, um, every fortnight more or less just to sort of have a week that we go all out, a week of rest, week that we go all out, you know, kind of thing. So I think that's sort of like a good balance because, I mean, you can't really expect people to um, commit themselves every single weekend. I mean, everyone's got lives. Everyone has things that they need to do outside of this game. So my expectations is not to make people play this game. Do you know what I mean? I, I rather people enjoy the game for what it's worth and enjoy it so you, you keep coming back and playing because i mean if you burn out well you know you you guys won't be able to well you'll lose interest out of it you you know and then you start having people that will not participate anymore and pretty much you know start leaving the game or just not bother to you know try i guess so that's what you don't want so I feel like doing this for now actually would be a, it's a good move and if it, if you guys aren't doing it i probably would recommend that you do do that um and and this will help in a lot of spaces as well like you know things like turnover of um members and things like that um especially when you get some of those higher ranked clans and i'm not saying my, my clans are high ranked because i know it's not because we, we haven't been consistently doing uh legendary uh rewards and we've only just begun so <coughs> Excuse me. With that in mind, I think, you know, once once we get there, you know, requirements might change for some people, which I get. But for now, I want to try and sort of hold true to that. But what I what I mean by turning people over, and this is where it sort of comes down to people can't do this week in, week out. You know, there's got to be some sort of leeway. There's got to be some sort of agreement. Um, people are sort of got to, you know, communicate and reach out to, um, you know, to everyone else in between. And this is where I think this will help with future updates to the clan system so having um certain features added into the game so my feature set that i would love to have for the clan system alone would be the following <coughs> sorry um have a second in charge have like a co-leader that has the ability to add and remove players with, which will be a massive help to the clan leader especially trying to manage 50 players it, it'll be it'd be very hard and very difficult to do that even having made possibly two co-leaders so you have yourself which is the uh the leader above everyone and then you'll have anywhere up to one or two co-leaders i think that'd be a good move and i think that will help um you know distribute the load of what is you know required for everyone um you know spreading the word for certain things you know if the le if the clan leader would say one thing then those two co-leaders would be able to, you know, support that communication, especially if we've got people that are in within different time zones. I think that'll help a lot of people in that space. So at least that way communication will never get lost or missed in translation, I guess. So that, I guess that's one thing. Uh, the other, the other feature I would love to have would be the, um, the last time that the player was logged in feature. Now, I don't know if that's, good or bad at the same time because when you sort of think about it initially it sounds good all the time like it's a it's a good feature where you know when when the player was last logged in and playing the game but i guess what i don't know if that's whether or not borderline evasion of privacy i don't know i mean we obviously don't know the players personally so <coughs> sorry oh sorry give me one second i'm just gonna have some water Usually don't do this on camera, but I definitely need something here. All right, so yeah, so I don't know if it's borderline evasion of privacy. Uh, I honestly don't know, but I'd like to say no. But then again, I could be wrong, and it, depending on how people sort of take that as well. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I, I have no idea. But I don't know. Having having a feature like that just only shows if we've got pe players that are no longer active in the game. And when you sort of look at it from that standpoint, um, obviously it's in 
you know, it, it, it's a pure innocent feature to have or request to have, I guess, at the end of the day. And, and that just sort of helps with, you know, who's active, who's not. And if you wish to have someone turned over, then obviously you can because you can physically see that person hasn't participated. Or rather than having maybe a last logged in time, maybe if there was some sort of algorithm that we can leave when you look at the... So let, let me just jump into this real quick. Uh, let's go here. Oh, sorry, up here. You could probably maybe in this middle space here between the person's name. So in between where you can sort of, you know, get them to be removed from the clan. You can maybe have, um, you know, your last three events. Did you meet minimum expectations or requirements? You know, it'll either have be like in gray, red or green, I guess. So gray, maybe not participated whatsoever or didn't even log in during that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Whether you logged in at all during that event, that, that'd be like gray. Red, that you didn't meet the minimum requirement. And green, obviously you did. And then at least that way, as a clan leader or a co-leader, you can, um, I guess, gauge... Do you need to turn that person over? I think something maybe like that might be a better option. Whether that's too much involved in terms of a development side of things, I guess that's possibly something that we can always sort of put through the request section through the um, through the developer Discord. I guess that's something that we can always do and look at. Uh, just before we keep going, Gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to deal with you first. And I don't know if I have any. Um, do, 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 hammers. Do I have any hammers? I've got one. So we'll go ahead and use that. And put that back. And how are we going here? So we are starting to get full. Won't be long until we have to run back home. But, um, yeah, so that that's my suggestion. I want you guys to let me know what you think about that in the comment section. You know, does that, does that make sense to begin with? Um, do you guys want something like that to be implemented into the game? I want, I want you guys to let me know. What I did do was I actually made a request in the uh, developer Discord as well. So, in regards to all the clan events... I think it is time that we need a complete refresh of the reward system. And one option, well, the suggestion that I made was have the whole reward system mixed up. So let's say one event, whether it be say the, the XP event, um, instead of getting armor, go for weapons. You know, it doesn't have to be all high-end weapons, but what I'm saying is it could very well be um, you know, basic weapons like this fishing spear here, for example, or possibly like a crossbow. Um, I think something like that, hey, I, I think that might be a really good shout, to be honest with you. Um, not only that, why not scrolls? You know, everyone wants to get all these rare scroll, uh, scrolls where we can't actually find them in game or it really takes forever to, to more or less find and upgrade our, our weapons. So we've got like, you know, these two stars, I've, I've gotten to three star with some of these, um, you know, uh, some of these clothing and things like that. You know, see the pyromancer's ring here. I need one more to go to two star, and then I need two more to go to three star. And, you know, everything else in between. I, I think that something like that would be really, really beneficial. You know, and it might not be everyone's favorite thing to go for, I guess, and I totally get that because you don't know what you're going to get until you actually participate in the, the event itself. But they could be um, specific, all right? So it could be um, a weapon scroll reward or a clothing scroll, you know what I mean? And then finally, you have the, uh, the armor repair tomes. So, you know, why not get more of those? Again, something that we should be looking at as a you know, as a, um, as a reward system, I think that'd be really, really beneficial. And I think, you know, a lot of people might agree with that. I don't know whether or not that will 
really fast forward and accelerate everything in terms of the game. You know, I'm sure that's something that the developers have possibly thought about in the past, but depending on their thought process and where the game's at at the moment, it might be possibly a little bit more, uh, sorry, a little premature doing it sooner rather than later. But I think that, that, look, it's a fair statement. I might be reading into it a little bit more than what I probably should be, but you know, it, it sort of it is stand. You know, it stands for reasoning, and I think if we sort of, you know, request some of these things, and we don't know if we don't ask, I think at the end of the day, and I think that's very important. So I don't know. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. If you guys are interested in things like that, let me, uh, you know, drop them down. Or if you guys are um, in favor of what I've, you know, suggested here, jump into the Discord server, jump into the requests. You should be able to upvote it. It's already there. At the moment, I think we've got about nine or 10 upvotes at the moment, as opposed, um, yeah. And I, I think I posted it about a day or so ago before recording this video. So yeah, I just want feedback and interest from you guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. You know, is that something that you're interested in? Or, you know, ha have you thought a little bit uh, deeper into it? Is it something that you're not interested in during, due to, you know, certain you know, uh, clashes, what, whatever that might be? Or flat out, do you guys just want, you know, newer content, newer levels, newer enemies, zones, things like that? I think we all want that at the end of the day. And yes, it has been quite a long time since the developer has put something out there. Um, look, to be perfectly honest, and I'm only just speculating here, you know, whether or not they're actually re-looking at possibly the rating system, who knows? You know, I don't think, I think they've got the message a lot of people weren't too happy about how the rating system actually works at the moment. Um, you know, are they, who, who knows, they could be re-looking at that. Um, and they could be getting, you know, their vital feedback on it. And yeah, they, it could be something that, you know, we might see change over in future. Who knows? But I think that's just something that, you know, possibly to note. I don't think, I don't think there's any truth to that, to be honest with you. Um, it's just a speculation at this point in time. So yeah, I just feel like, yeah, that might be something that's worth bringing up. Um, possibly the reason why that we're still waiting on an update who knows um but yeah anyway i think i will go ahead and leave it here for today i think i sort of wanted to achieve what i wanted to achieve today and just do a bit of a, a resource run and grabbing everything and i'm actually starting to run out of um space and storage because i'm full over here as i said before you saw the clay there i've got clay there and if I go up over here, I think it's over here. Oh, I've got scrolls. No, oh, I've got some space over here, so I can dump that here. But I've got scrolls over there. Um, oh, I've got rushes there. And if I go down over here, I've got all scrolls there. So yeah, I and a little bit of scrolls there. I've got so much inventory that I've got to push out especially when the next XP challenge comes through. So that's where that's at. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. Appreciate you guys stopping by as always, checking out my videos. If you guys like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think about all this. Anyway, I will we'll leave it here. Take it easy. I will catch you next time. Look after yourselves. And see you in the next video.